Hello everyone and welcome back to my let's play of Mass Effect 2. We're up to episode 2. We're just gonna go around and have a bit of a chat. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Pleasure's mine. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Sure. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? No, let's just have, have a chat. A to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Is that all? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Counselor. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Hmm. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh. But Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Mm, you happy, mate? about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. We won't. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? No. I better go. Okay. Well, I got jumped into that pretty quick, but welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you drop a like and a sub. We are on part two, so we will be continuing onwards with what we're doing if you're new to it make sure you go back to part one but we're going to be going around just talking to people at the start here because we didn't get to do that in the last one so we'll go around have a chat see what people are up to get to know the ship a bit better this is pretty cool all right let's talk to the engineers Ooh. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. Mass Effect core, okay. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Okay. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Okay, so we're gonna go Where grab you that. Your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, that weasel Udina backslid on the Reaper Menace. 
They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Okay. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Hmm. Good. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love <laughs> engines. Mum. And the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Okay. Are you set up okay down here? Outside of those T6 I FB. bet you could find them in the Omega. Anything else? Line. Okay. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'm FBA couplings. I told you he would. What are you looking at, Shepard? Seems like there's nothing here. Nothing down there. Alright, let's go back up. Cruise quarters. Alright. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, that's engineering. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Wow. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, Open quarters. on the edge of the frontier. Oh, no. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Yeah, good man. Like, I don't like Cerberus as a whole. I oh, don't know why we're going in there. But because we're sort of in charge of everything it's good in a way Chef surprise again come on rupert i'm sorry princess filet mignon and caviar coming right up let me just get out my doilies that'd be real nice mr gardner <laughs> commander shepherd the hero of the citadel you did humanity proud that day miss sergeant rupert gardner here how can i be a service need anything you have everything you need I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Give me the list, I'll do it. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? <laughs> what do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands, most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> I like this, dude. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. 
be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Cool. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Exactly. Back to work. Ah, oh, he's Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the Special Tasks Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Hmm. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. We keep our ranks and structure similar to the Alliance. A lot of our recruits started there. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. Yeah, see that's where it can fall apart. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Thanks. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Like most Aussies, mate. We're all fucking the best. <laughs> you certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Hmm. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. It's your fancy smancy place looks like. What is this? It's like an escape pod or a sound room? Silent room? Yeah, all Aussies are the best, mate. Number one in everything. Can't beat us. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people, but not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. 
I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I think they will. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Yeah, she's a good egg. Yeah, it's everyone on this floor. We'll go back to... Actually, we'll check out... Um, the Captain's Quarters. Should load pretty quick. Remember playing this on the Xbox and loading so slow. Uh, I don't know if there's anything. The private terminal. Mm, nothing really there. Oh, we've got different appearances for her. Not for him, though. Wait. Did we miss something? No. What do we got? So that's for each game as well. Make sure we feed the fishies. Oh, there is no fishies. Let's go back. Guess we'll talk to Joker? Probably our best bet. And then we'll go back to the galaxy map. Can't get off, can we? No. So we're in the middle of space. It's Edie. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. God. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite, you have no choice, choice ever. Technically, this is a civilian ship. I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Yeah, I'll save that for the off hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24 7. Insurance. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Okay. 
Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Impressive. Sounds incredibly useful. Why is there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, just putting it out there. Yeah, it's true. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. The elusive man has monitoring devices. He has invested on most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. Let's discuss yes. something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. Uh, what? Quantum blue box? Why are you named Edie? Edie is the phonetic pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. <laughs> Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Hmm. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. A convenient. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Yeah. Um, another topic. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. Alright, I think that's, that's everything. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. There's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. The rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. 
We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Hmm. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, Commander. Alrighty. What is that, everyone? I think so. Oop. Thought I saw something there. What's through this door, the armory? Guessing there's not much we can do in the armory. Oh, Jacob's here. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. True. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Is that all he has to say? Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Probably the same as everyone else. I just want to figure out what the real threat actually is. Got no problem with risk. I just need a clear goal. Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Save the Citadel like you, but what's the saying? A good deed's like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. The whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. Good job, man. We'll talk later. Commander. Alright, an E. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point-to-point. -point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. Jesus. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. That's so complicated. Logging you out, Shepard. Yeah, quantum stuff is just nuts. Yeah, we'll make teleportation, I guess. But I think... I th remember correctly anything I looked into teleportation was like, well, if you change the... Like, if you're sending the quantum stuff through the thing, you're not the same thing at the other end. It's different. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Anderson, off chance here to do, come to the Citadel. Hmm. Yep, servo ship. Normandy crash sites located. Ooh. Mutations. Okay.
Good. Arc projector. Cool. Kazumi Goto. You convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her and few claim to have seen her in person. She's... Uh, to Travel to the Zekira ward on the Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from usual. Silence is golden. Okay. So what do you put in the weapons locker? Clock projector. Okay. So we get to test that out. Alright. We get to explore now oh yeah that's right you get to like move around the omega-4 it's omega should we go to omega first maybe we should explore the crash site that'd be pretty cool We should make it. Easy. Yeah, so in this game you could actually like... You don't use any fuel in here. But you use fuel... Um, going everywhere else. But you can explore each planet. What you normally do is you scan it like this. Alright. And then you can drop probes to get the ores. Probe away. Got ten. So we can get them. Platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Like imagine doing this on console. Like it's so much easier with a mouse. Just do this. Oh, that's actually not bad for that ore. Iridiums. Probe launched. Element zero, zero is probably the hardest to get. Iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, oh. submachine guns, and assault rifles. That's pretty good there. Launching probe. People say, like, don't waste until you, like, get, like, the really high spikes. Probe launched. Research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Oh, that's a good one there. Probe launched. But I'll show you guys what this is. We'll do like this system. Yeah, that's good enough. I normally work from the outside in. What I will do is not do this uh, full on. Oh, there's heaps of stuff here. We haven't got very many probes left though. Launching probe. Probe away. Right, you get sort of get the gist of it, but I'll actually go around and um, do this not on. away not on like recording and stuff so I don't waste everyone's time uh, we'll leave these unexplored so then I remember what to go back to anomaly detected oh I can't send any probes <laughs> silly I me detected an anomaly yeah we gotta head back and buy some probes Oops. So we gotta recruit Archangel, recruit the Professor, recruit the Veteran. Okay. Get some probes first. Oh, we got no money, do we? 
Come on. There it goes. I guess we'll do this and then we will do another one. Uh, I don't know what one to do first. Probably the professor. Maybe the professor. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just decide when we get there. Anomaly detected. Probe away. I have found something. Let's go have a look at the Normandy. Oh, look, there's the car. Oh. Get up there. There we go. Ah, so that's putting the monument down. So there was 20 crew members lost. Very cool. So you got 20 dog tags to collect. God, so sad. We lost the Normandy. I know I ran through the first game pretty quickly, but still. The memories. There's a dog tag there. There's one over there too. All right, let's make our way around. Don't let me up. one there. Zero. Nice. Do we miss one back here at all? SOS. So someone landed here. You wouldn't think there'd be this much debris, but there definitely is. There's a hell of a lot of debris. Creepy as hell, too. Oh, is that the bridge? down here because I saw yeah what? the data pad say so. uncoverable data spoke to commander about this all these damn aliens aboard the ship most advanced ship but don't trust them that damn Asari and Corin what does Shepard think 
exactly. This is Navigator Presley and fucking racist. <laughs> With the quarry and it seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage to try and improve the lot. Her home ship. I can understand that. I don't probably babysit my children or anything. But if she has to be on board, I suppose it's not too bad. For a while now, I'm talking... Taking a look back at the past entry journal. How blind I was at the time. Oh. I came on this ship, ship firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Shepard brought all these aliens on board and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud to say that I for any member of this crew, regardless of where they were born. Oh. I forgive Presley. He's not a racist. He was just an idiot. But most people you think that way normally are. You know. Doesn't matter what colour skin you got or what you look like. It's the person who you, you are. Is what's important. No dog tags around. We could take that. Take the big gun off the front. It was overpowered. Get that bloody dog tag. Zero, I think. Whoa, that's a long way down. dog tag I still don't know what these things are they look like pods look at six to go that's wild I thought we were getting attacked. What's this part of the ship? Is this engineering? No. Oh. Kitchen. Atmosphere is so creepy. One more dog tag somewhere. Guessing over near this. Yeah, there it is. Normandy. That's it. All of them done.
I know, man. Trip down memory lane. Monument has been placed at the resting place of the Normandy on the Ark Ella, and the families of all the missing crew members have been notified of their ultimate sacrifice. Shepard lost in seven helmet was also recovered. Got some credits as well. Alright. Let's head to the mission. As I said, I'll do the, um, collection on stuff. Outside of the... Not stream, the... Um... Recording. 30 probes. I think we can upgrade that later too. But for now, let's go to Omega. This is a very interesting place. Both of you come along. level up for this. Here we go. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay. That's a Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Oh. Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we were picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please, I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. 
It seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Fucking mercenaries, man. Jeez. Well, he's added. Guess we go report to Omega. Come on, let me in. Are you expecting me? See what she wants. Mm, strip joint. That nice. enough stand still if you're looking for weapons you're not doing a very good job can't be too careful with dead specters that could be anyone wearing your face I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions they're clean Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. Going to cringe. <laughs> but you need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. It's the boss. Omega That'll do. No titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. Okay. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. Yeah, good luck with that. I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've mm -hmm. started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Arcade? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Okay, good. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. Okay, cool. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. All right, what about Morden? I'm looking for Morden Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. 
If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Okay. So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, mind your own damn business. Fair enough. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Fair enough. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Maybe, maybe. Maybe all around. You want to talk? Talk to Adia. The crude is a he, right? I hear you recruit. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The Mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. Huh. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? <laughs> Probably pretty good. Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a vorch out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Okay. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. Stop the kid from getting himself bloody murdered. Why 
why do they always wear the same thing? Like, even in the last game, it was the same thing. Just one more. It's like a law thing? Like, you never just see them straight up in, like, a, you know, skimpy bikini or something. I'm gonna go have a look at the markets first. Come on, let me in. Uh, lower section, apartment, and marketplace. End is nigh. Tentatively excited. Welcome you. Oh, he's got a ciggy in his mouth. Get for you. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't. Why has he got a cigar in his mouth? I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Yes. Visor. That looks cool. I think the rest of it's just armor stuff. I might have something here for humans. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere. Unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell anyone or I'll lose my shirt. Good. The lesser races will be punished. Okay. All the pure shall ascend into righteousness. Blood dragon armor. Be ye warned. The end times are coming. And you are not prepared. Yeah, we're not going to do much with the sniper. At least I don't think so. Nothing to sell. No, Herod has something for everyone. Watcher. What do you want? What's behind this door? VIP section of the club. For those with the right name. Do you want something? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. Okay. Pointless human, there's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I got can't get in. Get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilope calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. 
Hmm. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened the clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. But the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Hmm. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Tell me more about this plague. That starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood. And... Well... Then I shoot you. In fact, oh, God. species. Turians, Solarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune. And Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races. Can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Solarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Hmm. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. <laughs> That's true. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. Yep, we're all human. Yep, let's take them. Don't think I need any upgrades. Yeah, Morton first, then. Oop, I'm stuck. Can you two go over Going there? Now. Move it! Cheers. It's more to trap me. Oop. So good. Uh, do I have any autos? Shotgun. Heavy. Need to pick up an auto. Hey guys, I'm just chilling. Good, yep. Let's continue on. Good luck in there. The blue suns and Vorcha shooting anything that moves. Thank you, thank you. Jesus, man. Guess they just left the dead in the streets. Burning corpses. Must be trying to keep the plague from spreading. All oh, right. This is a bit of fun. Um, blue segment. There, no, not the same. It is. On. There's not even one there. There's one. Did it? What are you doing, mate? You alright? Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <coughs> Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Uh, your plague did this to me. 
<laughs> Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morton Souls. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> I hope... <laughs> Damn it! Damn you! Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. Bit of metagel, I'm guessing. <gasps> oh, you... You help me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> A human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <coughs> Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. Okay. I need to find Morton Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morton worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> Guess a smart one would if you wanted to stay alive and not have to pay stuff. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. Yeah, okay. I should go. Goodbye, human. I wonder what's this way first. Under credits. Done, done, done. Man, I miss these tiny little mini games in these things. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. No, definitely not. Bastards seal us in this room. Said we're infected. <laughs> Idiots can't tell the difference between the plague and a simple cough. Nothing to do now but sit tight and wait for them to wise up. Good thing we brought a deck of cards. Two days in. <laughs> Nobody's even come by to check on us. Never thought the Blue Suns would turn their backs on me. <laughs> this group used to stand for something. When I get out of here, I'm gonna make them pay. <laughs> it's like you didn't get out of here, lad.
true. Look how big Miranda's head is. Get a big head. Oh, does he have anything on him? No. Yeah, having the old spicy cough's no good. I've still got it. So if you hear me cough a little bit or something. Sorry. Apologies. Come on. Click, click. I can't remember what that's like on console. Like, do you have to flick through every single one, or...? Oh, a thousand credits. Infected blood. Oops. Oh, blue suns, I'm guessing. Yep. Jesus. the dude over here. Where'd he go? Jesus. Need to find better shields. Nice. Oh, he's burning alive. What else? Good. Yeah, Miranda. Wrong way. Okay, we can be pretty close to those. Ooh, we can use this. Yeah. Did I equip it though? No. Okay. So we have to find that weapons thing for me to equip it. Nice apartment. Oh, humans. Oh, thank God, you're human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. What are you doing in here? Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. 
Unless they see you first. Hmm. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's it's when pretty everyone slow. realized humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vortus started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay, you're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Yeah, good stuff. Anything here? He free money. 4K again. Oh, they're just giving money away. Ooh. Yeah, it doesn't spread like the old spicy cough. Not quick enough. Wait a minute, where did this come from? Blue Suns! Blue Suns. Exploded. About to get hot. Come on up. Man, I think the other pistol's better. Uh, give me this thing, whatever it does. Ooh. Uh, give me this one back. Let's 
seems we've crossed into Vorture territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Seems like it. Jesus. Element zero, good. Hey, 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 back off. We got here first. Oops. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, mm -hmm. if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Tyrion's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. Do you know a Solaria named Morton Solus? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. No, no. We pretty much know all that, but... Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Yeah, good. No free wall safe, though. It's not like we're any better. We've been stealing people's shit off their walls. Is this the auto? Yeah, it is. I don't really like the auto pistol. My fault. Next room. Wonder how far we are from the clinic, though. Eh. There you go, clinic this way. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Yeah. Well, the stars are clear. Put your guns away then. Done. Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Oh look, we can change our weapons out. That's what I want to do. It gives me weapons there. Oh, I guess we could, um... Research it? Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morton. Professor, we're running low on epoxy. Use melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in batarians. Supplement with butemerol. Now there may be butemerol. Got it. Cerazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Expensive to mass produce. Take all this stuff before we talk to you. Inconsistent results. Demazine, better option. No, no, no. Demazine, toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. Talk sauced. Professor Morton Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by a weapon. No, no, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers, not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns? Maybe. Looking for someone. Yes. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. 
unexpected. You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. What the hell was that? Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before District suffocates. Here, take Plague Cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from Dead Blue Sun's Mercs. May come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future, I hope. I found a Batarian Plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Fortress still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variants. Huh. Okay. Unnecessary mutations. What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. Oh. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans. Made threats. Killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. <laughs> True. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release cure. We'll be here when you return. Oh. Give me all that. Plus the power cells. That'd be good. You must know the, um... Defend the line dude, then. Or hold the line, or whatever he said. Just hold the line. Right, what else did we get? A hand cannon. Let's try the new heavy pistol. Can't get through that. Right, let's go. Shoots the same. Eyes ahead! Stuck on this wall. I need to get moving. Move, move. Gotta hurt. Man, we handled that terribly. Must be a few left alive. I've got it.
shotgun, please. Oh, I can't. There it goes. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. He was getting a bit close for comfort there. Target them. Yeah. Firing now. On his way. Got a charger. <laughs> oh man, that's not good. Shields back, please. didn't survive that. That was a really bad start. Um, that one. Green. There. That was easy. Don't think I saw anything on the way over that way, so we better go this way. Oh no. That's not it. Shit. Text there. Um, there we go. Truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we'll kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha. The plague. But this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. The Tarians just hate everyone, eh? I thought they were gonna, gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. Well, we found his buddy. Nothing else in here. Double coming! Quick. That's a rocket launcher. Enemies in 
front. <clears throat> Down into the battle. Staying up there. Have a nice trip. <clears throat> I think they're less dangerous than Mass Effect 1. Can't reach the target. I mean, I can't. Can't get a lock. Have a nice trip! Well, guess that does it. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. that way what the hell is this way oh nothing and credits we're close to the environmental controls let's get that cure in then hit the fans sounds good Here. We shut down machines, break fans, everyone choke and die, then collectors make us strong. What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines, put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Heavy weapons. Still even ah, vulture. Get over here! Weed looking. Shepard, I've scanned the room. The central control system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Okay. Cure's locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Get over here! I have located the fan controls. There are two, one on either side of the room you're in now. Drop them! Either side of the room, I guess I'm down here. Jesus. Perfect. Right. Let's get in that damn room. One down, one to go. Let's move. Move, move, move. I've got him. Go, go. Let's 
scary. Much. Good shot. This. I think that's all of them. Oh no. One more surprise. You bugger. Both bands are up. That should be it. Whew. Are clear. That was hard. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Fortune retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy. Well, there you go. We, we got more than solace. Through to Dr. Morton, Solus for the team. Examination of a mega plague cure confirms Dr. Solus' expertise. Can also use work on Omega as leverage against Aria if necessary. Yeah, that we can. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. The collectors have been abducting colonists from the fringes of the Terminus systems. No distress signals are sent out. No signs of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No, spreads too slow. Airborne virus, no. Slower than gas, drugged water supply. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course, analyze the samples. We're going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No, synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections, could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask, is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify, neutralize technology, need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. He's gonna be a good, good one to add. Very good. Your lab's on the right. Yep, tech lab. Yeah, we can upgrade. Here we go. Good, good. Don't need anything for it either.
and that's why we need the extra iridium stuff and all that type of crap because we get all the weapons upgrades armor upgrades everything oh yeah Cerberus armor collector assault rock Ooh. don't have enough for the rest see how we're low because we could actually get this one but we don't have enough uh, ship enhancements are none six prototypes though Ooh, missile launcher but I'll make sure before the next episode that I go do that we'll talk to Morton Shepard how can I help we investigate first is the lab working well for you Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Okay. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Okay, so yeah. He can go through and do all this. Ooh, that one's nice. Might search that one. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Yes, sir. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. Hmm. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well, safe and secure, neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genome, ah. took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Did we met Kirihi? I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. That was it. Hold the line. Get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. <laughs> Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Hmm. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. 
actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Hmm. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Well, good job, mate. Good job. Well, we got Morden. Next one we're going to get is Archangel. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. Anderson. Ah, that's the guy that we saved. Good. Oh, we can heal our scars on our face. Good. Alright. Well, in the next episode, since this is the end, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But in the next one, we will be doing Archangel and some other stuff. But I'll do a bunch of um, searching around the galaxy so then we've got plenty of resources. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.